this video, I'm just going to inform you about transformations of functions. You will find this on page 117 in the Namibia A is Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, transformations of functions. I wrote there it's just for enrichment because this section is not in the Namibia AS level of Cambridge that we are doing. But I think it's very helpful and I think it will help you in other topics. And that's why I just included the investigation as well as in summary. So if you are in Namibia, some schools I know do the international Cambridge examination, then just take note, you have to go deeper into to this and do also some of the exercises in transformations of functions which you will find in other books okay but you can click on this qr and then you will find a nice investigation just showing you a few how the graphs develop okay i'm not going to do it but it's there in the qr or you can just follow what's standing here so there it's still going on. What I want to focus on, and this is what I think is going to be very helpful in other topics, is I'm just going to focus on the summary, that you see what happens if you start playing around with the equation. So if this is the equation, the function, okay, so if it's fx, and you, you take the equation and you just plus c, okay, and this is going to be also very useful if you think of trigonometry, uh, absolute values, then I will reflect back to this. So, if it's just plus C, or it can even be minus C, it's a translation up or down. So, plus for up, minus for down. Okay, so it's by the vector 0, C. So, C is bigger, then it's going up. And if it's minus c, it's going down. And very interesting, say it's x squared plus 2, it, it's the, okay, the, there's the original graph. So if it's plus 2, it's up. And if it's minus 2, it's down. If it's in bracket, so I'm putting that part in bracket. And I can show you there. Uh, so say it was x squared, but now it's x plus 3 in bracket squared. So you, you include that. So... The, then it's the translation left or right. So basically, but now this works the other way around. Now maths likes to do that. So if it's bigger, so if it's plus, then you see, you would have think it will move to the right, but it actually moved to the left. And if it's minus, smaller, then it was moving to the right. Okay, so that picture you can also have in your mind. Now we're going to look at this one. Okay, uh, if there's a negative in front, so if I put a negative, it's a going to be a reflection in the x-axis. So if you look at this one, it's positive. As soon as I put, it's a reflection in the x-axis. We can flip it upside down by multiplying the whole function by negative one, the whole function. But if it's in brackets, the reflection in the y-axis. But look at the example. Do you see? It's now not outside, but it's inside. So uh, you can flip it left, the value. I actually don't have it. Okay. A negative one, then it's just reflecting there. Okay. Then I move on. A stretch or compress. Now, if, and I'm, if this is C, so... If the C is bigger than 1, then the stretch is in the Y direction. I think it's always best to look at an example. Now, let's just first look at my original example. There is my original example. Do you see? Now, I take that and I multiply it basically with a half. Now, if you look here, if you see if I was multiplying it with a half, I just want to see, uh, then, look, it's, 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 it's almost like it's becoming smaller. Do you see? And if I was multiplying it with 2, it's stretching out. Okay, so if the C is bigger than 1, like this one, it stretches in the Y. So, so it's only stretching in that direction. 
okay? And if it's between 0 and 1, like this one, it compresses, it becomes smaller in the y. So not in the, in the x, only in this direction, okay? And then the last one, I think this is going to be the last one. But now that value is inside the bracket. Do you see? And I, I must again show you an example that you see this. Okay, let's look at the original one. Okay, now there's a, a, quite a lot of graphs, so it can be confusing, but I think in the textbook you can see the colors better. Okay, so if I'm looking at this one, this was the original one. Okay, there. Now, if I go and I make it a half, now it's again the other way around. Now it's stretching out. Do you see? So it's stretched in the x direction. But if I make it two, it's almost like the opposite of this one. Um, but now it's compressing. So it's bigger, but you see it's compressing and it's in this x direction, not in the y direction. Just keep this in mind. Uh, so note that unlike for, <clears throat> for the y direction, bigger values compress and um, smaller fractions stretch out. Okay, and I think we can just read this last. If uh, this, the compression stress effects is swapped, this is why we say that the stretch vector is 1 over C. I think uh, because e, when I move on in other chapters, I will try to bring this summary in. So we are not going into the exercises in this level or in the Namibian IS level, but we will use this information. It's just very helpful.